Hello everyone, my name is Raina Carice and I am so incredibly happy that you have found your way to this video. Welcome. This is actually my first video on this channel. Oh, well it's technically not my first. I did have other ones but I deleted them. But we'll just say it's the first because that's easier. Today I am so excited because I am doing a come thrift with me try on haul kind of thing. A couple days ago my sister and I I uh, went thrift shopping together, um, I think we went to like four or five different stores and for the first time in forever I actually found stuff that I really like. I don't know why but I swear that I'm cursed when it comes to like thrifting and trying to find cool items. I can just never find anything and all my friends that went thrifting came back with like the most incredible vintage finds or like funky pieces and I was like what is wrong with me? Where is my share? It was very discouraging. But for the f first time ever I actually found a whole bunch of stuff that I really really like and I'm very excited to share it with you. It's not a massive haul but it's like the biggest thrift shop buy I've ever had. So I'm going to roll the thrifting montage. Um, not a lot there to be honest. I kind of forgot to film. I'm not used to this whole YouTube thing but I'll get better <laughs> and I will see you in a minute or so to show you what I got. Today I've got the whole day ahead of me to find a bunch of different things like there's no time limit. I do have a bit of a budget, but I'm looking for like clothes. I'm looking for homewares and furniture because I am trying to renovate, uh, decorate, redo my apartment because it's kind of fugly at the moment. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, I thought I'd take you guys along with me and then at the end I will show you what I bought. So let's put our masks on and go inside. I don't wanna buy you drugs Like you so much better when you're not fucked up Boy, you're just a little too much like that Whoa, 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 whoa. Casey, I don't wanna fall in love Thought I had the time, but it's just not enough Boy, I don't tend to give my trust like that Okay, so let's get right on into it. I'm going to start off with the homewares that I bought. I never used to look for homewares. One, because I've only recently, oh, not even recently, but kind of only recently moved into my own place and I was just never really into like the homewares section but I should have done so earlier because I found some really cute things. So the first thing that I got is this beautiful little jar. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's... Oh, my receipt is still inside. It's like this adorable little jar. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. But even if I don't use it, it's just so cute to have sitting around my house. I'm wanting to redecorate, completely redecorate my home. I'm so bored with it. I haven't really decorated it yet. It just has a few random pieces of furniture and I'm so, I'm so bored and uninspired. I need a little bit of spice. So this definitely fits the vibe of what I'm going for in my future home, which I'll probably do a video on once I get right on into doing the whole redecorating thing. I think this was five or six dollars. I think. The next thing I bought, and this is another thing, I don't know what I'm going to use this for. Do I regret my purchase? Not at all. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? It is like this pastel pink 
jug. I don't know, this is just giving me all the feelings. I don't know, I don't usually serve gravy, but I am going to have a dinner party and serve gravy in this thing. Or like, a tea party? So like some almond milk? I don't know. It's just so cute. If you guys have ideas on what I can use this for, let me know. This was also five or six dollars. So cute. The next thing I bought, this I think, well, it said it was seven dollars, but then at the end of my order, I got like four or five, four or five things for eight dollars. I don't know. They must have been having a sale that I didn't know about. But I got this beautiful vase. Oh my gosh, it echoes. Hello. It's like this very pale pink um, color, and it's like that. You know that glass that um, is in like old houses in the bathrooms where it's like kind of foggy, fogged glass. Is that what it's called? I don't know what it's technically called, but I just thought it fit my vibe. Um, I need more vases for all the future flowers I'm going to buy myself. This is the um, last homewares item. This was $12 apparently, but it was in that order where I got everything for $8 altogether. So, crazy. But it's a coffee plunger and it's a really cute... Is that what it's called? I think it's called a coffee plunger. I don't know, it's like the one where you get like coffee grinds and you let it sizzle and soak up in the water and then you have coffee. I have so many bags of coffee grinds at home but I haven't been able to use them because I didn't have anything like this. And I've been looking for something like this but they were always like, they were expensive. I just like didn't want to spend my money on it. But I found one that is not only affordable, hella affordable, but it is very cute. I got three bags which <sighs> I'm so excited about this first one. Okay, so it's like this beautiful black handbag. Um, it's an Olga Berg bag. I did have a Google and her bags usually retail for around $100. And I got this for, I think, five. And it's so beautiful. It's like this hard, sturdy material. It's very structured. It has this really cute handle. It also does come with a long chain that you can attach um, to like throw it over your shoulder. I've already used it so there are a few things in here but there's just like two compartments. Oh gosh, you can't see, I'm not even gonna try. There's like two compartments and like a little pocket. I don't know, it's just great, I love it. The next bag that I got was $2 and it's this really cute daisy print like woven bag. I don't know, I just thought that this gives me big beach energy and I'm going to definitely take it to the beach with me now that it's coming into summer. It's like this beautiful pastel purple colour and has like these little white flowers. Um, and I just... And the last bag I got, I'm so excited about. Okay, so I live up the road from an antique store and generally most of the stuff in there is quite expensive. I've always been so tempted to buy some of the vintage clothing that they have in there. But I just can't afford it realistically. But this was $22. And it is this really cute vintage, like, structured bags that just screams I'm running away from my abusive husband in the middle of the night. And it is, has a lock. I made the mistake of pushing the lock in because it didn't run through my head that there's a keyhole there and that I probably need a key to open it. So I haven't been able to open it yet. I'm going to get my boyfriend to pick it because surely a vintage bag, like, come on, surely it can't be hard to unlock. Technology has advanced. Knowledge has been passed around. People know how to do illegal things. So, but I just think it's so, it's massive. It's so cute. And I'm going to take this to all of my sleepovers and um, trips once I open it. But even if I can't open it, like, I feel like it's just, it can lie around and look cute. It can do that too. So now I'm kind of freaking out. My camera is flashing at me and saying that I'm running out of battery, which it's not allowed to do. I literally charged it like two nights ago. Anyway, moving on to the clothes, which I love. I love, uh, I kind of love everything that I bought. There was one thing that I was like, I mean, you'll see, you'll see. So the first thing that I got this satin printed 
dress. Um, it has like an asymmetrical skirt, which I'm not a fan of. It reminds me of um, my years as a high schooler, middle schooler, high schooler, who knows. Um, but I just thought that it was so cute and so unique. Like the pattern is absolutely gorgeous and I'm a sucker for anything that is satin. Um, I bought it without trying it on. However, it does fit me, which is a surprise. It's a bit booby, um, but I don't mind a little bit of boob. I just think it's quite luscious. Um, I think my plan with this one is to cut it shorter, probably like just like mid thigh length or something like that, just because I prefer I prefer a shorter skirt and two, I think that would be easier than just cutting off the longer piece of fabric. Um, yes, I will do that in the future. The next thing that I got is this beautiful skirt. I've already worn it. I'm in love with it. It fits me perfectly, which is insane because I feel like skirts like this generally are quite baggy around my waist and loose um, and tight around my hips. But the next thing that I bought from one of the thrift stores was this patterned button-up top. I just thought that the pattern was really fun and funky. I'm not a massive fan of the cut. Um, I don't love button-up tops like that. It's just not really my vibe. I like stuff that's a bit more form-fitting for the most part, um, but I thought that I'd do something cool with it, like maybe crop it, um, or like what I've done in this try-on video, um, like tie it at the back, or somehow make it sit in a similar fashion. Um, but I thought that the print was really fun, and it was only $2, so why not? The next thing I bought, now this is something I'm a little bit unsure about. Um, I think I could make it cute. But it's this button-up top. It's like this creamy, kind of like a yellowy, creamy color. Um, I love the, I love the fabric. It's like this very lightweight. It's like similar to chiffon. The one thing I don't love about it is the neckline. It's, as you can see in the try-on video, it just goes straight across. I just think it sits a little weirdly. But I do really love the fabric, so I'd love to make something with it, maybe, or just tie it up or something like that. If you have any ideas, please let me know. But again, it was only $2, so I don't really feel like it was a waste or anything like that. So the next thing that I bought is this really cute yellow cardigan. It only has one button up the top, which I have seen Bella had did wear... A few times and she looked really good in it I don't know if it's gonna work with me because I have massive boobs um, but I'm thinking of maybe moving the button I mean you'll see it in the try and video but I'm thinking of maybe moving the button down so it's sort of buttons in the middle of my chest so it provides that coverage but I can still have it open and then I'm also thinking of maybe cropping it a bit but I'm not 100% sure yet I just loved the color and again two dollars so and the last thing that I bought is this beautiful pink silk scarf. Look how massive it is. I'm not going to try this one on because I don't know how to work it yet. I want to make, like I know scarves are so versatile, you can make so many different tops. You can even, like I could wear this to the beach as like a sarong kind of vibe. But I just thought the colour was so beautiful. And it has this really lovely beading along the edges here. Anyway, I just think, I just thought it's beautiful and it was $3 and it just feels luscious. So that is all that I bought this time around thrifting. Um, if you liked this video, let me know and I'd love to do more sort of like thrift with me or hauls or those sorts of videos. Um, I'm really excited about this new channel. I have lots of big plans for it, so make sure you subscribe if you do not want to miss out on any of that. But yeah, you know the drill. Literally every single creator says it, but obviously engagement really helps uh, with our channel and getting our videos out there a little bit. So if you would like to like or share or comment, please do. I would really appreciate it. And 
yes i will see you next week i hope you're having a beautiful day and i'm sending you all my love and good vibes bye